Hello. <clears throat> Welcome back to Reese's Attic. Um, if you've listened to many of my um, little videos, one of the things I want to try to do this year is watercolor. And um, when someone who has no proficiency or inclination to do anything artistic you know when there's not that inborn trait or or whatever it is you have to have someone teach you from the bottom up and that's where I am okay so I've looked on YouTube and I've uh, I've looked at two videos and they were indicating that they were for beginners. But one of the things um, that I wanted to find out was, uh, I guess it's called brush techniques. And what I wanted to learn how to do is hold my brush and, and how do I manipulate my brush to do the things that I want it to do. If you ever watch someone on YouTube and when they're, I mean, it's like their brain and their hand have a direct connection and it just flows out of their brain, down their arm, through the tips of their fingers, into the brush and voila, you know, suddenly as if by magic, there it is. But <clears throat> I want to learn some watercoloring this year. And so I did look at a few things. Um, just because somebody gets up here on YouTube and, and is trying to instruct you does not mean that they have the capability of doing it. Um, you're going to have to weed through and find someone who is somewhat really professional at it. If they're like me, they don't know what they're doing, they just want to pass on a little bit of information, that's probably not your best bet. Um, but I did, I did get to work today on a few brush strokes and I used paper that was 140 pound, and this I think is cold press. Let me look. I got it half price at um, AC Moore, and now they're closing. So it was 140 pound cold press, 140 pound cold press. And what I understand about um, cold press, it has more texture to it. I don't know if you can see that. But what they say is it it has the capability of grabbing your bristles and the the uh, paint. I was really pleased at what I did there. Then I did some more stuff over here. And one of the things that I have found on here, just as a little tip that I want to pass along to you, is when you've gently cleaned your brushes, you don't do this number. Put some soap in your hand and... I've done that in the past. You gently clean your bristles and when you're finished and you've gotten some of the water out then you gently press them back into shape and set them upright and let them dry so I've cleaned these just a second or two ago a minute or two ago and now I'm gently pressing some water out onto my fingertips and I'm looking at the tips in 
and it looks like I'm getting most of them. I see a few stray ones, but these were not, you know, ain't Leonardo da Vinci here. So, but the little stray ones do, they will show up when you're, when you're doing something. So I've gently pressed that one back into shape, putting it over there. And then I've got a little bit more water in this one. So I'm just going to gently, gently taper it nice and pretty. It's one of the things I've learned is you've got to take care of your brushes. Even though I didn't put, pay full price on these, I paid the half price on them. I don't want to have to buy them again in, in a couple of weeks. So just smooth them out real nice and pretty, back to a point. Set them upright and let them dry. All right, thank you for spending just a few minutes with me today. I hope uh, you've caught on to a little something that maybe will help you in your pursuit of watercolors. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.